Hi, Crystal Matei here to share a celebration scrapbooking layout with you. Thanks for tuning in. If you're new to my channel, I'm a Creative Memories advisor as well as a content contributor for the Creative Memories Home Office. Don't you just love walking into a room all decorated for a celebration? Whether it's for a birthday or a bridal shower or really any kind of celebration, it really sets the mood and gets the party started, doesn't it? Well, I have a layout to show you today that's going to have the same effect in your albums. When the pages turn to this layout, the mood will definitely be celebratory and fun. Perfect for the photos and stories you have to tell about that fun party. So this layout is featured on the Creative Memories blog and you'll find all the printed directions there. But I'm going to show you how to make it today. To make it, we're we're going to need the Birthday Bonanza designer paper and stickers, white and soft pink cardstock, the 12 inch trimmer, a custom cutting system, small circle pattern, red blade and 13 inch cutting mat, micro tip scissors, tape runner, repositionable tape runner, and foam squares. To get started, we are going to choose a white piece of cardstock for the base, or you could choose to, de to design your layout directly on an album page if you prefer. And then we're going to cut down a piece of soft pink cardstock, and we're going to cut it to 7 and 7 eighths by 11 and 3 quarters. Now, if you would prefer a different colored cardstock, different paper to use as a background, you can always look at the coordinating cardstock suggestions that are on the on the designer paper packs to get some other ideas or just use something that you think would be more appropriate to your event. This is this layout is going to be a little bit on the girly side and I'm going to show you another variation for a boy themed page when we're all finished. So seven and seven eighths by 11 and 3 quarters. And then we'll just go ahead and adhere this on the left side of the layout. You'll just want an eighth of an inch to show all the way around the three sides. And then we're going to do a big border treatment right here that is going to be lots of fun and is going to really showcase kind of that set the party mood. We're decorating just like we would the room of a party and we're going to be making some garlands to hang here. So let's finish this side off first. We're going to need some borders and so I've got this cute light blue striped paper and I'm going to cut two one and a quarter inch strips. And then I'm going to cut them down to seven and seven eighths. So I'll just stack them up. And we've got those ready to go. And then I'm just gonna take my stickers. I have some border stickers here and I'm gonna use the candles Bring my silicone mat over so nothing gets sticks on there. And we're just going to place this right in the center. And we'll take our scissors and just snip off the remainder. And we can use this for another purpose. And then we're going to do the same thing with the other one. Okay, and these are all ready to adhere on the layout.
We'll place one right at the top and one at the bottom. Okay, then we're gonna need a few spots for photos. So I'm just gonna go ahead and cut those so that we save room for that step. We're gonna want two photos that are four by four and a quarter. So I'm just cutting this cardstock to kind of mimic or stand in for our photos. But you could also use this, you know, as a photo mat and and uh, cut your crop your photos just a little bit smaller. And then we're going to need two, three and a quarter square photo mats. And so you'd, you'd put two three inch by three inch photos on those. And we'll just adhere these. And, and you're gonna wanna put them about a quarter of an inch, just kind of line it up so everything's a little bit, you know, even across the top and and from side to side. So I'm placing these like this, and then this part in the middle is perfect for journaling. You can journal right on that um, spot, or what I like to do is just to kind of highlight that journaling and just by cropping a few uh, little strips. And three eighths is kind of a nice size. So I'll just I'll just cut three of these. You can, if you have more to say, you can certainly do more. And I'm just gonna place these right here. If you want them to be even more fun, you could have them kind of off center like that. Place them however looks right to you. Okay, so we have this all set for our photos. Now we want to do the fun party decorating on the other side. So I'm going to bring back some of these fun papers. And we've got several different colors to choose from. I'm opting for some tone on tone, but I also want to use this really fun little pom-pom or uh, little dot kind of paper too. It just looks really fun. So we're going to use our small circle pattern and the red blade. And we're going to cut some things. Before I do that, though, I want to I want to have the um, stripes. I'm going to make some some little strips that our garland is going to hang from. And so we're just going to cut a tiny bit. I'd say like three sixteenths of an inch, so just under a quarter inch. And a quarter inch is going to be this um, at the edge of this gray strip. And I'm going just a little inside of that. <clears throat> for my strips. They're just going to be narrow. And they're just going to make a nice little string for my for my garland. So I'm going to do one with the pink and the blue. and this sort of yellowish green color. Okay, so now that we have those all set to go, let's start cutting our little 
garland embellishments. So I've got lots of different colors here. What we're gonna want to do is, is cut several using the inside of the, of the red blade. In fact, I'm gonna just stack a couple of them up and so I'm not having to cut quite as many. And what we want is to cut six pink circles, six of the pom-poms, six yellow, six blue, and four green. So maybe I'm gonna stack up these two to begin with. Next, I'm going to cut six of these. And then finally, I'm gonna cut four of the green. Okay, let's bring our layout back. And I like to use the 13 inch cutting mat often to, to do my laying out because it really does help to kind of use the measurements on here to line everything up really easily. And so what we wanna do first with this is we want to lay down our strings. So I'm gonna start with the middle one and I'm gonna line it up right at the two, two inch mark. And I find it's actually kind of helpful to bring in a ruler so that you're able to kind of, they're kind of wiggly when they're so narrow. So if you line it up with a ruler, it just helps you kind of get that place just right. And then we'll do the yellow. And this one's gonna be right about, right about at the three and a quarter mark. So again, I'm gonna line that up. I'm gonna place my ruler. So that it's nice and straight. And now we'll do, actually that didn't get quite as straight as I'd like. There we go. And now we'll do this pink one. And this one we're gonna line up at the three quarter inch mark over here. So they should be pretty even and evenly spaced between them. And now this is where we have some fun. We are going to start by placing the yellow. And we're gonna go, you know, about half an inch from the top. And we're gonna want three of those. And I'll set aside my other pieces. And then we're gonna want 
the confetti ones to kind of go in between. Oops. And you can really place these any way you want. And you can also choose, you know, any color that you like the best. Does not have to be the ones I've chosen. Maybe you want to go with what looks good with your photos. And just, just make them however you want. So this is kind of my little way I wanted to do it is I've got some solid pieces here. Kind of some tone on tone. And then I've got the little confetti kind of in between, which kind of looks fun and festive. And then I'm going to put some green in here too. We just want to really get lots of color going on in these garlands. Isn't that fun? Okay, so this is kind of how we want to do it to begin with, just sort of place them as evenly as you can. And then you're going to take your adhesive and you're just going to start taping them down. So it is helpful too, if you want to get them even, to kind of use your ruler again. Now we can fill in the middle ones just by kind of centering them between, nesting them between the other four. Okay, so now you should have a few leftover pieces. So three of each of these, and what we're gonna do with each of these is we're gonna just fold them in half. And then we'll be taping them, just taping one side and placing it back over so we have actually a little element that kind of opens up and it just kind of adds a little dimension once you get your page protectors on this page it'll lay down a little bit but you're still going to have just a little bit of that fun peeking out so do that with all the rest of these
Okay, so we've got our fun little elements here and then we can just turn this over, take our scissors and just trim off the overhang. All right, this is looking great. Now, the last thing we wanna do is just pop it back up with a few stickers. So I'm pulling my stickers back and I'm just taking a look at what I would like to do here. So I want a title. And so I'm definitely gonna use this Eat Cake and Celebrate. I love it, it brings a little bit of yellow into this layout. So I've got that. Let's see what else do I want. This is a little girl layout, so I'm going to put if you have a if you have a little boy layout, you can do that. You could put anything that just sort of personalizes it a little bit. So that'll kind of go down here. And then I think I'm gonna want some party balloons. So we are decorating this layout just like it's the party room. And of course, you know, you can remove a little of the stickiness of these stickers with a little cornstarch or powder if you wanna kind of keep them away until your photos are on. I'm just gonna place this up here and kind of have my little waves of my sticker kind of match the waves of that sticker. So we have our title. And then I wanna add maybe a party hat. this up here and maybe I'll add this little memory sticker I like to use foam squares I think it really adds some nice dimension um, along with these you're gonna have quite a bit of dimension on this layout but if you prefer not to use them that is totally fine and again, I'm just gonna kind of match that little wave at the top. And then let's find a little something to add to this little spot. And I think I'm just gonna put some stars down. couple of <clears throat> stickers that don't that um, peeled off the backing so I'm just going to add a little tape to that so just adding a little fun over on this side so we kind of have our little grouping and I would use these for journaling and I would add my photos in these spaces here so you can see just how quickly and easily you can really create a party room right on your layout. 
If I was going to make this a two page layout, I think I would probably add the second layout over here. Let this be on this side. I mean, you could do a mirror image and have a garland on both sides, or even just have one string over on this side if you really want more room for photos. And then just fill in again with more of that same color cardstock, frame it in just the same, and kind of continue the layout on this side. But now if you have a boy, or if you just want colors that match your party theme a little bit better, I have another idea for you. So I created this layout again, only this time I used the party time collection that we've had for a while. So I used some of the new, more neutral papers and made this into a layout that could work really well for a boy. Just the same kind of thing and just use the blues and the greens and the naturals. Now, if you wanted, you could just look at the photos that you've got in between the two collections. I'm sure you would find plenty of different papers that would work really well uh, for, for any color scheme that you want. I hope that you enjoy this. I hope you like making a party on your page. Let me know what you think in the comments. I'd love to hear how you're gonna use this in your own albums. Thank you so much for watching.